Historically, uh, when we have done brain surgery, we can have the patient awake in the operating room while we're operating near important areas, like areas that can cause paralysis, and ask them to move or speak. It's not ideal. It, um, it's scary for adults and pretty much not possible for children. Replacing the older invasive tests with newer non-invasive tests is a huge benefit to the patients and the families and allows us to answer the same questions in an easier way. The functional brain imaging group now consists of three modalities. One is magnetoencephalography, the other is uh, functional MRI, and the third one is transcranial magnetic stimulation. There are only a few places in the country that have all of those modalities in one place. By w using functional MRI, uh, MEG, and TMS together, that gives confidence. We are using those methods to kind of confirm and verify that we are finding the same answers. The more concordance that we see between the more invasive procedures and the non-invasive approaches, we have a better idea of replacing those techniques. The reason for doing pre-surgical mapping is to identify the functional areas, like the area that controls movement, uh, the area that controls sensation, the area that controls language. So we actually can figure out a way to give the surgeons a map to be able to cut right there and get all of the lesion but leave the motor function intact. If everything was stay put, you could read in the textbook where everything is and the surgeon would not need this advanced information in order to uh, maximize his surgical approach. In the old days to do, to take out a brain tumor for example, we had to make a big incision and a big window in the skull and nowadays with this technology we can point to the tumor right through the skin and make a small opening right over it and so the kids heal quicker, they have less pain. These patients are going to surgery for a reason. They're having intractable seizures that are impairing their daily lives. They have tumors that could potentially take their life. So they're difficult decisions. So the non-invasive testing allows us to have the information in advance. We can then sit down with the family and clinic. We can walk through the testing, tell them where we plan on operating, show them where critical brain functions are and how we will avoid those. And it allows us to basically show them how we plan to do it, to map out the surgery, if you will, in advance that we plan on doing. So with all of that technology available to us, um, we're able to do more and to do it more safely than we've ever been able to in the past.